Greetings and welcome, dudes and dudettes. This is obviously Lightlager here, and today I'm gonna be doing a bit of a short tutorial slash overview on Ramp DeFi, which is basically a project that is trying to bring in all of the staking coins on different blockchains under one umbrella and basically rewarding those people by providing them ramp tokens by you know using the actual application which we're going to be looking into a second and ramp has you know gained a lot of partnerships uh, across the different ecosystem which is a good thing because you might be holding, uh, let's say, a certain staking coin which might have fallen out of favor and you're not 100% sure is it going to be a viable and a good project from one year from now. So at least you will be getting a bit of ramp rewards top of the uh, existing staking rewards you will be getting from those coins. And they're basically collateralizing the stage digital assets in the liquid capital and you're going to be retaining those staking rewards and having this sort of a cross-chain liquidity bridges and yield staking, which will be paid in ramp tokens. And here's a bit of a, like a rundown of the like the underneath, you know, economics behind it. And ramp token is obviously an ERC-20 token, recently also launched on Binance Smart Chain and actually is currently on one of the pancake swap pools. So put your cakes into use, so to speak, and start farming some ramp tokens here as well. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot, lot of these, um, obviously these projects moving towards uh, Binance Smart Chain in the upcoming weeks and months because Ethereum scaling is so far behind in so many ways. Now let's look at some of these partners. I'm pretty sure not all of these have been implemented as of right now. So what we have here basically is IOST, Tomo Chain, we got Tezos. Injective protocol, which I, to my understanding, is not on its uh, own blockchain as of right now, and Graph is not its own as blockchain, if I remember too. We got Elrond, we got Solana, we got Icon, Stone DeFi is a token project, far as I know. Then we have Nulls, another coin. These are, I'm actually not familiar with outside from Alliance block, so I think those are other staking platforms. And there's a bit of a roadmap. And I think the good thing about it is that they can basically partner out with a lot of different chains out there. And there's a lot of uh, interesting customers. And I, I think that might be... Um, and there's another service called StakeHound, which is very similar to this. But uh, that one creates like pick tokens on Ethereum, which is obviously very high gas fees. But also the other problem with that project is the heavy KYC. So with Ramp, you don't any have of that. But let's jump into the actual application. So here is the Ramp DeFi app. Obviously, you are required to have a MetaMask in order to basically access the platform, FYI. So obviously, I'm going to be choosing Ethereum from here and I'm going to be logging in. And then I'm going to be refreshing the page just to get things working out. And now we should be able to basically see. So first of all, we have the R stake, which is right now the platforms that are being supported here. So we got Tezos, we got Tomo, and we got IOST. So what I have here is called iWallet. This is the, well, the MetaMask of IOST. And I'm gonna log into that. And now we're gonna be clicking connect on the IOST button and now we got to refresh the page and uh, we able, should be able to see the actual staking. There's the wallet balance here, IOST earned rewards, and we have earned ramp as well. Obviously, the ramps are going to be happening on Ethereum chain, not when I'm being paying $53 as of right now for the fees, but it is there without regardless. Maybe in the future, there is going to be an option to claim those ramp rewards on Binance Smart Chain instead. What I can do here, I can obviously claim the IOST one and I will be getting those IOST rewards and I can put those uh, new stake in. So basically let's refresh really fast and see if the wallet balance actually updates. So here you can see the amount that we have you know, added so far and 4.75 is what is on the balance. We're gonna be adding 100% of that. Well, this is apparently um, rounded up so we're going to be putting out four and now basically that has been staked in and now we will be basically getting more ramp 
Uh, having um, like an auto farm feature in the future would be fine. Maybe somebody will build something top of ramp DeFi to uh, do that. But that's how it basically works. You stake something and then it basically, you know, puts into the ramp's own pool. And basically then you will pay your rewards. And this applies to every coin that they have. So you have Tamo here. We have Tezos. And uh, I think this was um, just releasing apparently. Oh, apparently $20, $25 worth of ramp to give in all participants on the Tezos beta. So works out to uh, play around with, on these actual applications. And then there's the vault. And this is basically, um, we can deposit ramp here to stake it. This is on the Ethereum side and ramp ETH as well. Then there is the Binance Smart Chain side of things. So basically I can move my Ethereum tokens into the Binance Smart Chain, if I so want to, if I want to trade it much more easier. Remains to be seen, will they like start to build the art stake vaults on Binance side of things or to or allowing people to claim the rewards of ramp in Binance, as I said. But it's something that to be considered. There are obviously um, pools that exist on, you know, the APYs on some of these pools, like on the Tezos or the IOSD. Uh, and Tomo, are these the best APYs you can get with the uh, Ramp DeFi? Remains to be seen, but uh, Ramp is also a burning asset, so they are basically burning it up. And um, because of that, it will become more scarce and scarce. So later down the line, it might become actually more valuable. And so it might be something to buy and stake. Obviously, the gas fees are pretty high as of right now. But maybe, as I keep saying for the third time, uh, remains to be seen if there's going to be more integrations on the Binance side of things. Now, as I said, there's going to be a lot more, um, you know, different blockchains are going to be added here from partners that they have listed. So expect to have your Solanas and other things here um, to be available where you can get those RAM projects. Um, sorry, those ramp rewards. So it's something to look into and something to consider as a project. I think the concept is pretty great because it doesn't require KYC. But the problem is that it's kind of like rooted into Ethereum as of right now, a bit too much to my liking. And obviously, you need to create certain ways of utility for the ramp token itself. Like, I'm sure I did probably miss something on the main page, but. Um, you know, the tokenomics are very important here. What is the giving the value for the ramp uh, token is obviously something, you know, just having a burning mechanism is not going to be enough. So what I can do, is there going to be a governance or what is exactly going to be probably listed somewhere on those, um, um, you know, light papers or something. Let's actually take a very quick look before we wrap the video up. But um, if there's anything about the tokenomics here, yeah, these are wrapping tokens, ecosystems. Okay, it just basically generates the fees and the R burn is basically used to repurchase it from the Uniswap and then burn it. And I guess that's okay, but um, I guess it creates scarcity for the token, but I gotta take a look closer look into the actual tokenomics here. Where does the value come from and etc. But um, maybe there's something to do with RUSD. But um, I'm gonna leave the links down below where you can buy ramp, D ramp token and also obviously participate on the actual application. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video, whenever it may be. Cheers.